Hello and welcome back to another episode of our Sims in Bloom Legacy Challenge. Today we are going into an apartment where the Grim Reaper is still here. Oh, oh, I thought he was literally leaving. But he is still here because in the last episode, the father of Emily unfortunately passed away in our apartment right here on the floor. Sad times, big sad times. It obviously happened straight after Emily cooked a family meal and after Thorn asked for her, basically for his blessing to marry his daughter. And he said no, which was very unfortunate. So we are going to be going on into a sad household today, unfortunately. I don't know how long Grim's gonna be here, but Grim being here and hanging out definitely is gonna make not is not gonna make the sadness any better. I love the fact that Waffle is sleeping next to the bed. Maybe he can kind of sense the emotions, the sadness. I say that just as Emily's gone into a really flirty mood. <laughs> but she is sad, like you know, she has just lost her dad and she watched him die as well. So um it's it's a sad day in the Bloom household. The girls, oh look, the girls are cuddling each other. But we do have have Thorn to be focusing on in this series. She is currently in her new job in the social media. She has work in four hours and things that she has to do for work is like going pretty well. But as we know in the Sims and Bloom rules, we do need to upload a video to the More Views video station, station once a week. So we should be able to edit the one that we recorded, right? Because we were recording one, unless we have to record a whole new one. Oh, okay, there we go. So there is a video there. It is poor quality unfortunately but we should be able to edit and upload that which is cool so maybe let's get her up early it's half five in the morning but let's maybe get her to edit this video perhaps make it a little bit better than poor quality and then she can maybe record another one primrose if you caught her new series she is now working in the military so even though my second series on primrose it is a side series it's like a spin-off just for primrose and it is in an all alternate universe so she's still going to be living in the apartment with the girls in this series but in her series it's kind of like an alternate universe into her life there so watch that if you want to find out any more but she does still work in the military she hasn't done her sparring before work unfortunately so let's send her off to work today and waffle is getting hair all over the apartment oh gosh this is exciting why is grim still here why are you not leaving perhaps you've outstayed your welcome You've been here for too long now. Is he going to be here all day? Are we going to go out to work and he's still going to be here? Also, we've now got like a fair bit of money so we can even add more decor to the apartment such as like pictures and things to the shelves and things that I didn't do earlier because we didn't have a lot of money. How is your video editing going? Oh, I forgot about this married for money thing. <gasps> Ooh, okay, we need to do this. The girls are very money motivated, not just Thorn, but Emily too. And I think in the last episode, she did tell Emily about this, about this call. So I think this should happen. Maybe not in this episode, but perhaps in the next episode. I think they would have spoken about it and would have agreed that this is a good idea. Thorn would want to do it the former way and like would want to ask for her like to marry her. So maybe once they all get home from work, she can ask for her hand in marriage, I guess. Right, Emily is going to work in a very sad mood, waking up after the dinner party with, oh my God, Grim and Waffle. <laughs> Grim, you've literally been here for tw like 12 hours now. Dawn has acquired the media production skill, cool. Stop playing with our dog and go and like kill other people. What are you still doing here? Okay, this video has been edited that Thorn just uh, did. So can we please go ahead and upload the video now? Get crackalacking with that. Oh, now he's leaving. It's about time, isn't it? Oh my God. <laughs> the minute he put his thing down to go, it comes up like Primrose is at work, blah, blah, blah. Primrose wants to get a boss a birthday present, but can't leave work to buy it. How should she go about it? Order online. Oh my lord, well that was dramatic. <laughs> that big puff of smoke. Primrose uh, has, has the entrepreneur skill. She knows that her boss loves to eat at fancy restaurants. So she quickly orders a gift certificate to her favorite seafood cafe, the Tuna Tortuga. Without wasting time, she solves the birthday conundrum and finishes her work on time. Maybe we'll get Emily to, oh my god. Do you think we, she should take a sick day? I mean, her dad did literally just die. Maybe take a vacation day and we'll get you all caught up. I, I think she, you know, how she's feeling right now, Obviously her father passed away literally
literally less than 24 hours ago. She hasn't done the work that she needs to do. Where are you going? No, you're not going to work. You've just taken a vacation day. There you go. You've taken a vacation day. You don't need to go to work. Get back into your pajamas. Get back into your pajamas. She needs to take a personal day. You need to have this day for yourself where you can just sit in your pajamas. You can relax. You don't need to worry about anything. But obviously you do have work tomorrow. So we will send you into work tomorrow. But today needs to be a day for you. I am going to get you. I know what you're like. And I am going to get you to do the things that you need to do for your work and file your court documents and everything. File your court documents. You can at least be working on worky stuff. I know you're having a personal day, but I think that Emily would want to make sure that she's got her bits ready for tomorrow since she wasn't able to get it done yesterday because of the trauma that basically happened. Thorn has turned into a genie, which definitely means that she's off to work today. Hopefully they've got toilets at work because my girl needs a wee wee. We need to get her as well, posting like on her phone and um, going to the different towns in the city, posting social media statuses, all that sort of fun stuff. Um, but obviously they, the girls are both sad, like witnessing somebody die in your apartment, let alone your father-in-law or your father, it, it, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough time. So we'll give them give them a day or so to just relax. Waffle has got a full food dispenser thing here. I don't know if she's eaten this morning, but maybe we can fill that up. No, that we don't need to fill it, do we? We just need to wait for it to go. It's set to every six hours, but she's a big dog. So I'm going to set it to every three hours. I love how Primrose is feeling happy today. She's gone into her first day at a new job and she's feeling happy. Good for her. Royalties have come in for Thorne's video that went out this morning. The love of my life. She made 107 simoleons. Love to see it. Do we have any bills to pay? I can't remember if we've already paid our bills. Thorne needs to provide tough feedback for a co-worker. How should she give the notes? Pair with praise or straight and honest? I would pair it with praise. I think we've had this sort of thing before, maybe like in one of Tara's careers or something, in one of her work days. So you know, you should say you're, this is what you're doing right. And this is going really well for you. But these things you need to improve on. She praises the coworker and then sandwiches it with some harsh feedback. The coworker is caught off guard and is a bit upset, but Thorne learns a good lesson about tactful feedback. And she got a performance gain. Nice. I don't think that we have any bills to pay. Bills are not yet due. Okay, perfect. That's fine. Oh, bless her. She's literally crying. She's writing her files and sorting out different cases that they're dealing with in the law firm while literally sobbing over her keyboard. Oh, I feel for her. But well done. You got that done and dusted. Maybe she can take Waffle around the neighborhood because you don't want to stay cooped up inside and Waffle wants to play fetch. So is there a ball in here? Okay, the ball is out somewhere. So let's buy a new one. Oh, Waffle's gone to bed. Waffle, do you not want to go for a walkies? Do you want to go for a walkies? One strokes. Can you see her? She's stretching on here. Look, there's a doggy on the screen. That one's called Waffle. This is what I'm dealing with right now. Two cute heads looking up. Just realized that the NAP inspector is here. I didn't think they came to the apartments. I thought that was only in like houses and stuff. Can we play fetch now? She's gonna throw the ball. Oh. That, you literally just chucked it on the road. The dog's like, I'm not going into the road. Why are you trying to make me go into the road? Look. Waffle is a smart dog. They're easy to train and learn things quickly. Yeah, babes. Waffle knows not to go in the road. Okay, we need to go to a park. So let's take Waffle and let's go to a park. Why are you chucking balls on the road? Come on now, Emily. You know better than that. Does she have the ball? I hope she has the ball. Papa Stone Park. Let's go to the park and let's properly train Waffle how to fetch. Oh, it's raining here in this neighborhood. Oh, can we train? <gasps> Wait, let's let's try this training with Waffle. Maybe this will keep Emily distracted. Okay, she's really tired though. Oh, um, okay, this outing to try and distract Emily. Mission distract Emily has not gone well. She's tired, Waffle's tired. <laughs> Waffle's asleep. Let's try and get Waffle to do this agility course. Waffle doesn't like the... Oh, Waffle. Okay, this is not going well. Oh, it did. Well done, Waffle. Yay, good girl. Okay, what about this? Does she have the ball to play fetch? Where have I... We've lost the ball. We've literally lost the ball on our outing. Are you joking? Oh, she walked over this. Well done. Unfortunately, Waffle... Do you know what? We need to go home. This is not going to make anybody's mood any better. You know that English term? Oh, there is things here. Wait, why don't you take some of this? It's called pathetic fallacy. And it means that the weather affects your
your mood. And because it's raining, it's just gonna make her even more sad, surely. Okay, let's um collect some plants. Can we take from this? Oh my God, the whole cast of Star Wars are here. Oh, it's a co cosplay gathering, okay. Okay, Emily does not wanna get any of the plants and she just wants to go home. Okay, Thorn's home from work. Do you know what would put you in a really good mood, Emily? Scamming people for money. Why don't you go and ask people for money? I'm sure that will put you in a good mood. Okay, well done. She oh, she's harvesting all these different things. A pear, a dragon fruit, an onion, all sorts. Fair play to you, well done. Right, go and, go and speak to this lady. Oh my God, our mother-in-law is here. Okay, ignore that Tara's here. We're not gonna scam her for money. Maybe she just wanted to meet up and she wanted to check up. She heard that Emily was at the local park and she just wanted to check up on her. Hopefully she can't hear the conversation that we're currently having because we are going to Emily likes spirited sims. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and um, oh look, we're already good friends with this person. So do you mind giving us a little bit of cash? My dad actually just died. Oh my God, she did it. So as I was just saying, my dad died and I could really do with the extra cash. And she said, here you go, Emily, try and pay it back when you can. Okay, this is amazing. Right, let's get her to go and meet everybody. Oh, look, there's a husky, Rose Bloom. Oh, that's Indian Tara's dog. You lot, that's the dog that Indian Tara got. Oh my God, Emily's passed out. You need to take an energy potion, babe. Some Excuse me, why is this guy shouting at my dog? Yeah, you growl, Waffle. Jero Tomlinson. Do you think you're related to Louis Tomlinson? Part of One Direction or something? I mean, you've got the hair for it. But no, babes, get out of here. You don't belong in this park. You don't belong in this neighborhood. This is my neighborhood. Okay, do you know what? Why and go, go, go and ask Louis Tomlinson's brother here, his long lost brother, for some cash. And what we're gonna do is ask for a large loan. Oh, Waffle, we lost your ball. I chucked it in the road and it went. Mateo messaged about our dad. I heard about the passing of someone special. I'm offering my condolences. Did he give us money? Come here, Gyro. You did not give us any money. No, don't go and cook something. Why are you spending money? We don't have money to spend. Stop cooking sausages on the grill. Silly. Why are you doing a full-on mixed grill? Babes, seriously? We're here to make money, not spend money. I know you're sad and everything, but come on now. Okay, what about Roman? Roman Calderon. Right, go and introduce yourself to him since you've now made a massive portion of a mixed grill. Oh, he's feeling very sad as well. Maybe he's lost somebody too. Oh, oh, they became really good friends and now he's leaving. No, sit down. I know that things must be sad for you. Oh, he's leaving. He already know. Maybe they already know her in this neighborhood. So they're all leaving. Okay, can we get through to Connor? Do you reckon Connor will be able to give us a bit of dollar dollar? Okay, hi Connor, it's so nice to meet you. I think your brother was just here. He was starting Calderon as well. No, don't walk away. Ask for the money. She's asking and he's walking and no one's giving us money. What do you mean? I'm really sorry to hear about your loss. You are my loss. Why is my dead dad? Like, I'm so sorry that I died, but do you want to go out for, for dinner and we can talk about it? Babes, get a grip. You're the dead one. Should we go? Let's go. Maybe finally he'll accept Thorn. Right, let's go. Let's go meet our dead dad who's very sorry for the loss of himself. Um, let's go for dinner. If he's paying, that would be amazing. We are in a cost of living crisis. So, you know, Emily bringing in the good stuff will pay for our bills and our food and uh, food and our parties and everything. Okay, let's see how this dinner goes with our dead dad. Okay, well, this is nice. Emily needs the toilet. Do we have to get the table? Never thought I'd be saying that we'd be going out for a meal with a ghost. But, you know, Sims in Bloom brings all sorts of chaos into our lives. So, well... Let's see. Um, hi, is this a pet friend? Are you, are you a ghost? Hello, um, is this pet friendly? I'm assuming by these cats and dogs that you've got here that this is a pet friendly restaurant, but I'm here. Do you have tables for two humans and a ghost? Is that, is that a possibility? Okay, we're waiting to be seated. Okay, well, this is good. At least Hugo's in a, in a good mood. Can we ask him how afterlife is? I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's order for the table first. 
So let's order lemonade for everyone. Honestly, you're telling me I'm paying three simoleons for my dad to have a lemonade when literally it's just going to go straight through him. Can ghosts even drink? Let's give him the cheapest thing on the menu, which is a salad, because obviously he doesn't eat anyway. And let's have the girls go for a steak. Perfect. Okay, Thorn, what sort of mood are you in? You are feeling stressed, desperate for fun. Well, why don't we do some funny interactions with our father-in-law? And maybe then when he thinks that you're funny, maybe then you'll be able to get his daughter's hand in marriage. Okay, we're telling all the funny stories. Wasn't it so funny that time when you came? Came around and then you died that was hilarious that was such a good time wasn't it oh hilarious <laughs> and thorn's like yeah so funny i don't know if he thinks that though okay he's in a happy mood so he's loving the jokes he's having a good time of it let's do some more potty humor let's tell him a gross joke and let's continue with the funny stuff i wonder if we can still ask if ask for his permission to marry his daughter oh we can okay let's just be so funny even Thorn's feeling super playful. She's on a roll. Excuse me, why are you leaving the table? Ah, we're having a nice family meal and you've decided to haunt a bin? That's not what we're here for. We're here to catch up and discuss the afterlife. We're not here for you to haunt things. Can you please sit down? Excuse me, sit. What are you playing at? Get your butt down, Hugo. Let's get Emily to ask him for some more money as well. Thorn can continue with all the funny stuff. Um, And Emily, since he's been dead for a little while maybe he's got more money so emily's gonna be like oh it's so good to see you dad even though like you know you are dead but i don't oh no we don't have the ability to ask for a loan oh that was quite quick well done uh emily where are you off to sit down sit down and eat your steak why are we standing up Sit down. Oh my lord. Sit down, everybody. Thorn loves photography. She loves taking a good old photograph to commemorate a moment. So let's get her to take a picture with Hugo. Not only to take a picture and commemorate that they're having a meal and having dinner with a ghost, but also to get their friendship up. Let's get a picture, Hugo. It's so nice to finally be welcomed into your family. Oh yeah, hilarious stuff. Thank you so, so much for inviting us out to dinner it has been a lovely meal one that i've never experienced before in my life you know having dinner with a ghost i never ever thought that i would see the day obviously i know just before you died you did actually say no to me marrying your daughter but how are you feeling now that you're dead are you thinking that you know life's too short or what are we thinking what's the plan of action big man go and eat your steak and get in here now so we're asking for his blessing to marry his daughter <gasps> And he gave it. He actually finally gave his blessing. Okay, well, I think then that this is the perfect time with our girlfriend's dead dad here to witness this. I think in public, Thorn, you know, wants to make a big deal of it. Um, it her life is all about social media. So I think it is the perfect time to go ahead and propose to Emily. She chickened out. Okay, do you know what? It's one in the morning. Right, Thorn's got a nervous tummy so she's gonna quickly go and use the toilet and i'm gonna get her to take an instant hygiene potion and then we're gonna go back in there we're gonna be confident and we're gonna try again i believe in you thorn okay thorn on the way back fill that and give it to waffle oh for the love of god thorn has got food poisoning i'm trying to propose here and my girl's got a dicky tummy right do you know what she's still got to propose and she's got to feed waffle go and feed waffle and get down on one knee i don't care how much your tummy hurts Get down while her dead dad is here. We need to propose. It's got to happen now. We have only got six days to get married for money. Okay, Waffle's now having her dinner. Okay, off we go. I know it's not the most romantic setting since I have got food poisoning, but I wanted to do this in front of your dad. You know, obviously it's a sad time, but I wanted to know if you'll marry me. And she said yes! Emily knows all about the money and everything. Thorn has been completely open and communicated everything about that. So the girls are just super excited and ready to get married and get the money, basically. Thorn is feeling particularly loyal and committed to her relationships these days. Trust is important. Do we want to embrace her new loyal personality trait? Let's do this thing. Perfect. Um, let's go ahead and end the meal and then we need to immediately get Thorn to complain. Thorn, 
go ahead and report the food poisoning. Okay, she's paid for the bill, but oh, she's no, gonna report no, the food no, poisoning no. now while we're here before we leave. Um, and we got 126 simoleons. They said not to tell anyone, but Thorne's job what? is social media. So she is immediately gonna update her social media status, telling everybody not to come to this place because she got food poisoning. So let them know. She's gonna post a picture as well of the food that they had. Um, and how they thought that this was a nice place, but that she did end up getting food poisoning. But anyway, it is time to head home. The girls do have work tomorrow. And I think that that going out for the meal, although she's still a little bit sad, going out for the meal has definitely put Emily in a much better mood. We've been trying all episodes to kind of get her into a better mood after after losing her dad. And she's now feeling happy again. She, she got a bit of advice as well on friendship. I think her dad maybe had a word with her, spoke to her gave her a little bit of advice and now she's feeling much better and she's feeling happy now that she is engaged after thorn proposed to her and i think it was nice that even though he is a ghost that her dad was there to witness the moment it took thorn three times three times to get his approval and to get his acceptance of her um marrying his daughter but three times the charm so they will be getting married i think in the next episode which is exciting there is a foof we have a floof. Hi, baby. And we are going to be wrapping up this episode there for today. A little bit of a shorter one, but we just had dinner with a ghost. So kind of, kind of wild. Did not expect that to happen, but we had our dinner with Emily's dad and we are now engaged. Well, I should say engaged. I'm not, but <laughs> Dawn is now engaged. So super, super exciting. And I think the next episode is going to be their wedding. So stay tuned for that. I am super, super excited. We've also got a little bit of money to work with here so we can put, put together a really good wedding. So looking forward to that. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give this a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you are excited for their wedding as well. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications as well. Make sure they're turned on and then you will never miss a video. Take care, look after yourselves, and I will see you next time. That's out.